Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Fluff and Puff Pastry. So I really love making desserts based on movie characters and there's one movie coming out that I'm really excited to see called Star Wars Rogue One. So today we're going to be making a structure cake using real wood and styrofoam to create a support system. We'll be shaping the support system to look like an ATAT -AT walker. To get started, we'll need to build a structure for our cake. To build that structure, I'm going to be using some scrap pieces of wood, some screws, styrofoam, a drill, a saw, and a box cutting knife. First, we'll need to measure out our dimensions. Then we'll cut the pieces down to size. Next, we'll be assembling the pieces of wood together to create the structure's legs. Then out of styrofoam, we will cut out the shape of the body, which will be holding the cake. After that, we'll stick the legs into the styrofoam block, and then we'll top it with the body piece just to make sure it fits. As far as the edible part goes, we'll be needing Rice Krispie Treats, buttercream, cupcakes, fondant, and a cake baked in a loaf pan. To make the legs, we'll need to coat the structure in a thin layer of Rice Krispie Treats. To do that, we're just going to take two slabs of our Rice Krispie Treats and mash them together to make them stick. Don't worry if they don't stick for you or if you're messing up because they're very easy to work with and you can just add on to it or take more off. Next, we'll ice the Rice Krispie Treat legs in buttercream and then throw it in the fridge for 20 minutes to let it smooth out and harden. The head is also made out of Rice Krispie Treats. Like the legs, we'll ice it and then throw it in the fridge for it to harden. We're going to be using the cake that was baked in the loaf pan for the body. I'll be carving it a little bit on top just to give it more of a straight edge like the AT, -AT Walker. And then I'll be icing it up and then throwing it in the fridge until we're ready to drape it and fond it. Then we'll insert the legs through the top of the cupcake to make our feet. Then we'll drape it all and fond it. Once you've gotten that covered, we can drape the head along with the neck. Then lastly, we'll cover the cake body and fond it. To make this cake more detailed, we're going to go in with some dark gray buttercream and just create like the mechanical pieces like uh, doors and switches and wheels turning, all that stuff. Last detail, I'm going to add in a few Star Wars figurines just to set the scene. Alright, so it's been a while, but we finally finished and I hope you guys enjoyed making this with me and maybe you guys will be as adventurous and create something like this with a structured cake at home. I really like how the turrets turned out and how the details really give it this mechanical look. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel right down below and I'll see you guys for more future episodes of Fluff and Puff Pastry. <laughs> <laughs> I make my own sound effects. <laughs> <laughs>